Memory profiling is easy. Start profiling your code right from Visual Studio. After it is started, you can explore how your app consumes memory and take memory snapshots at the points you're interested in. Each snapshot contains information about all objects allocated by your app. To get an overview of a snapshot, simply open it. Just a glance and you have answers on a large number of questions. What are the largest classes? What objects retain most of the memory? Are there any issues in the app? And does my app have fragmentation problems? In fact, this overview is just an entry point for your analysis. Next, you can go further and take a look at all objects in the snapshot. Start with the type list. For easy understanding, you can group it by interface, assembly, or namespace. For example, this lets you narrow the scope only to objects located in your namespaces. The selected set of objects can be investigated from different perspectives. Who retains these objects in memory? How are they retained? And what functions created these objects? Moreover, from any of these views, you can dig deeper and select other objects that seem suspicious to you. Finally, you may end with analyzing a particular instance. Explore its fields, outgoing references, find out exactly why it exists in memory and how it was created. If you want to try a different way of investigation, you can always start a new analysis in a new tab, like in a web browser but for memory. To find memory leaks in your app, simply compare two snapshots with each other. You can also investigate memory traffic between snapshots to fix performance issues. Whatever you want to do. Investigate excessive traffic. Understand why your app takes so much memory. Find a leak and its cause. Memory profiling will help you write great code. Memory profiling is fun.